Hey, the postcard we sent ourselves from Juno. Forever alone. What? We barely had any friends. We even had to be our own pen pals. Look how small these beds are. We were so little. Yeah. Hey, you. I just found your twin under the house. He's seen better days. Oh, this one wasn't mine. Whenever we asked for a TV, she'd just bring home a big stack of books. I think she did us a favor with that one. Mm, you may not agree when we start digging into the HBO back catalog. We'll see. Ugh, some of our old toys give me the creeps. You know, if there's one thing you gotta give Marianne, it's that she let us explore our artistic side. You should have seen Eddie's face when I tried to repaint his car. Yeah. I bet Uncle Eddie didn't appreciate your artistic touch. I'd rather you call him Chief Brown if you're gonna be an ass about it. So much for my dream of being a hockey star. Marianne thought sports were too aggressive, too competitive, and too group thinky. Look what I found. What? Only our greatest creation, the Book of Goblins. <laughs> Seriously? It was in that chest the whole time? All these stories. I had ideas for so many more. Marianne wrote a lot of them. Yeah. Ah, where is it? You looking for something in particular? My diary. You never told me about it. Yeah. With the way Marianne was, I tried extra hard to keep it a secret. Marianne. Yeah, that day she found out about it. I know you stole it. Give it back. Sweetie, whatever I do, it's just for your benefit. You read it, didn't you? You had no right to do that. I have the right to do whatever I need to protect my little girl. I'm not your girl. I hate you. You will always be my little girl. And no matter how hard you fight me, I'll fight twice as hard to keep you safe. <laughs> <sighs> I don't know how I never saw it coming. She told me right to my face. She was willing to hurt me, to keep me from transitioning. Tyler, there is no way you could have known she'd go that far. I want my diary back. Her room was the only place I didn't look. Okay, but do you need to get it, like, now? That diary was important to me, Allison. Writing down my thoughts helped me realize who I am. Let's go find it. You think her room is still locked? It always was. I'm not looking forward to going in there. I know. We'll have to eventually. Ace King 
finally caught the hag, his furious voice could be heard throughout the forest. For your wickedness, you will be eternally bound to the lake. What? No way. Quiet, let me finish. You will no longer be allowed to leave. Not even under a full moon. The moon hag was imprisoned in the lake, and she never again tried to escape. Hmm. Hmm. And then the title. What do you think? Not bad, right? Uh, I guess that's okay. But I would have changed the end. What? No way! The Ice King. I totally forgot about him. That's because it was dangerous to mention his name. He was too powerful. Hold up. What? Remember this? Uh, unfortunately. You must solve my riddle to earn the right to enter the princess's sanctum. Nothing a good hard shove won't take care of. I mean, yes, we could brute force it, but it might be kind of fun to finally solve it, right? We have different definitions of the word fun. Okay, well, if we break it, we're just gonna have to fix it for the sale. So let's at least try not to. You have the Book of Goblins? Yep. Hand it over. What are you looking for? The image on the door. It's making me think of a story from the book. One that Marianne wrote. You have a way better memory than me. Well, the Book of Goblins was my creation. And you'll never let anyone forget it. Here it is. The one about the princess's party. Give it a read. I think the symbols may represent something in the story. First ghost memories, now storybook puzzles. What a weird day. What a weird childhood. Touché. I 
think I'm just gonna force this open. You sure? We're not in a rush, and we'll have to fix it. All right, one more try. You sure you're done? Maybe if we put our heads together. Yeah, I could try again. You sure you're done? Maybe if we put our heads together. Yeah, I could try again. You sure you're done? Maybe if we put our heads together. Yeah, I could try again.
You sure you're done? Maybe if we put our heads together. Yeah, I could try again. You sure you're gonna be able to crack it? I, uh, need some help. I've got a few ideas. Okay, I read the story. What was I supposed to get from that? Look at the wheels. The symbols are the same as the animals in the story. Hmm, yeah. And the princess had to guess who'd given her the presents. Yes, I bet we have to do the same thing. So the torch. It's supposed to reveal truth and separate good from evil. Marianne could have used one of those. The animal we're looking for kind of sounds like a judge. Or a cop. Hmm. We didn't have any cops in the stories. But maybe just a rule follower? Yeah. I'll keep looking. So, one of the animals gave her a sword. It must have been from someone who wanted to take care of her physically. I'm totally stumped by the bag of coins. Yeah, none of the animals were especially rich. <laughs> Maybe it's not about the money then. Maybe it's about wanting to help someone in need. Thank you for sharing your wisdom, Master Allison. You sure you're done? Maybe if we put our heads together. Yeah, I can try again. You sure you're done? Maybe if we put our heads together. So much for the fairy tale mood. Whatever, we're not 10 anymore. She spent so much time making those elaborate games and worlds for us. Yeah, enough that she lost her grip on reality. So, where do you think we should start looking? I don't know. Where in this mess would she stash someone else's personal thoughts? Hmm. I tried to read this one. I can never figure out the order of the chapters, though. Didn't the author go insane or something? No wonder Miriam liked it. Hmm. So she was standing here, spying through the window, drawing us while we played. She always had her eye on us. My entire body just shivered. I just can't get through. Whatever's going on, they won't let me in. Ugh. They used to tell me everything, but they shut me out, Tessa. 
They've shut me out. I've had so much on my plate lately, and... And... They're convinced I'm the enemy, and I don't know why. I need them. I need my goblins. I remember now. We heard her crying. We listened through the door. Seeing her like this, as if she's still here, it's... It really sucks. She was really coming apart those last few months, wasn't she? It's here! I knew it. I fucking knew it! Do you think she read it? Of course! She was nosy as hell. Tyler. What? Look. What? Where did you find that? It was on her desk with her papers. Seriously? Are you fucking kidding me? Look, we gotta be really careful not to overthink this. It doesn't make any sense. She, she was mad, right? She was mad I, I, I cut my hair. She attacked me because I cut my hair. She was mad and she attacked you. We both saw it. Then what is this shit? I don't know. I don't know. Tyler, come here. She can't do this to me. Not now, when I've finally made sense of a few things. Well, that was your first mistake, thinking the world made any kind of sense. <laughs> Ten years in the grave, and she's still finding new ways to piss us off. Yeah. I think I need some air. <laughs>